Hello, welcome to another Tech Obsessed Teardown. And today I'm looking at two cheap Chinese Bluetooth bobbles from AliExpress. I think these were less than two bucks each. Maybe, maybe one was two, one was three. Anyway, they're incredibly cheap. So, um, let's see, what to say? This comes with instructions that are impossible to read with, uh, you know, my old eyes, so screw that for now. Um, all right, so first thing is let's get this opened up. And there's no battery because they ship them with no battery because batteries get them rejected in the mail sometimes. Um, though I think these tiny cells don't really have much of a problem. So that's easy to get into. The case is cheap and chintzy. Um, has a um, what you call it? Pretty poor friction fit. Um, I lost the little inset. So, um, this is, that's the guts of it. And it's hard to see. Let me see if I can. All right, looking a little more closely. That is the system on a chip. It does everything. And if you can read that, it's, I think it says, Beken, B-E-K-E-N, B-K-3432. And if you search for Google, or if you search on Google for that, I don't think you find anything except for some Chinese language sites, which is not surprising. Um, so that's where the smarts is. That's a little, um, that is a small, that's a crystal, a timing crystal. Um, that, I think, is the chirper, the audio. That's a micro switch. Um, that is probably a transistor. It looks like it may may be used to um, drive the the speaker. Probably a Pezio electric chirper thing. And that's pretty much it. Um, last little piece is that this looks like it was designed in 2018, um, less than a year ago, um, and it's version 1.2. I think there. Are, um, other people toured these down a few years ago, um, or at least that looked outwardly similar, found a different, also obscure Chinese or Taiwanese integrated circuit. Oh, I guess the last thing to note is that that's obviously the antenna, and there is no, if you'll see, there's no copper on the other side. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Plenty of test points for all sorts of stuff. The buzzer, the transmit and receive. And, and more. So, um, probably maybe even some programming pins. So, next I'll uh, be opening up a, the second item. All right, next, the other one. Oops. As I was saying, the other one. Um, I think this has similar, similar, similar functionality, slightly different instructions. <laughs> Um, slightly larger writing, um, different app, similar case, well, also a cheap black plastic case. Um, this looks like I can get into it. That, and also no battery. I'm also a small basic integrated circuit or printed circuit board. Looks like a different IC. Um, let's zoom in on that. All right, so you can see there's an integrated circuit, but it's a different package. Um, the other, I think, is called QFN. It has contacts all, all around. This one just has pins on the on two sides. Uh, similar, same or similar looking um, piezoelectric speaker. We see another transistor over here that's maybe driving that um, micro switch. And um, Crystal. And then there's the antenna. Um, so let's see, what can we see about this integrated circuit? Um, I think that is a, um, let's see, ST17H26. I think that is a um, integrated circuit that was actually used in some of these, um, that people found in some of these things. Maybe even one like this. Um, couple years ago when they tore into them. So this hasn't changed much. Let's see, is there a date anywhere on here? Um, 2018, 0606. 
um, version 1.9. So this has seen some redesign in the last few years, or, you know, in the last year and probably more often, but it is, um, you know, hasn't, hasn't gotten a, a new IC, at least if I remember. <laughs> If I'm remembering right about what the previous teardowns that other people did found. So there's that. Um, I'll probably post a little bit of details in the comments or in the, what does AVE say? The doodly-doo. Thanks. This has been another Tech Obsessed Teardown.